One of the biggest concerns regarding Grand Theft Auto 6 is the writing. In today's video, we'll look at some details regarding the people responsible for the writing. We'll look at what we know about Dan Hauser's potential involvement in the title, what he said in an interview from 2018, how his departure in 2020 may have impacted it, and who has been confirmed so far to have worked on the story. But before we begin, a friendly reminder guys, if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, click that subscribe button and leave a like on the video as most of my viewers are not subscribed. We're on the road to 12,000 subscribers it would be nice if we reached it thank you so much for all the support you show on the videos as always it is greatly appreciated if you haven't joined the discord server yet make sure to do so from the link in the description as that's the best place to interact with me and the community also take part in the q a's future giveaways and more but let's start by looking at this interview from 2018 where dan hauser says that it's unclear what they would do with gta 6 dan hauser is thankful he's not releasing grand theft auto 6 in the age of trump it's really unclear what we would even do with it, let alone how upset people would get with whatever we did, says the co-founder of Rockstar Games. Both intense liberal progression and intense conservatism are both very militant and very angry. It is scary but it's also strange and yet both of them seem occasionally to veer towards the absurd. It's hard to satirize for those reasons. Some of the stuff you see is straightforwardly beyond satire. It would be out of date within two minutes, everything is changing so fast. That's what he said in 2018, two years before he left the company. Here's a part from an article from The Guardian from 2020, Dan Hauser a co-founder of Rockstar Games is leaving his post in March. According to the developer's parent company Take-Two Interactive, Hauser was lead writer on the multi-million selling Grand Theft Auto series as well as other Rockstar hits including the acclaimed western adventure Red Dead Redemption. In a statement to investors on Tuesday, Take-Two stated that Hauser, who was creative vice president at the studio, would leave Rockstar on the 11th of March. After taking an extended break which began in spring last year, Hauser's brother Sam, with whom he co-founded Rockstar Games in 1998, will stay on his company president. So that's what happened, but there's no way to know whether Dan Hauser actually worked on the title. However, we know that when he left, Dan Hauser had close to no passion left for video games, therefore he started a new studio called Absurd Ventures that is currently working on graphic novels and audio series. Two other prominent Rockstar figures, Lazo Jones and Michael Onsworth, also announced they have joined Dan Hauser in his new studio, which could raise some eyebrows. Speaking of Michael Onsworth, a former senior writer at Rockstar Games who has worked on some of the company's biggest hits, in January of this year, year, Grand Theft Auto 6 was listed on his LinkedIn profile, revealing his involvement with the title, which could suggest that some of the OG figures still have involvement with the game to some extent, Michael Onsworth being a confirmed writer we'll see in the credits. Will we see Dan Hauser in the credits as well? That's one of the biggest questions in the community and there's no way to know this until the game actually comes out. Of course we have to mention Project Americas, which was likely the version of GTA 6 that Dan Hauser was working on. There's a theory that GTA 6 was originally going to be set in the 80s, a drug-centered story which travels outside of Vice City to South America. That's the first GTA 6 planned to be announced in 2020 and released in 2023, but after Rockstar saw that Red Dead Online was very limited due to the time set of the game, that idea was scrapped and the leftovers of that first GTA 6 became what now is GTA Online's Kyle Perico. That first game was presumably written by Dan Hauser and watching his project getting scrapped was crucial in him leaving the company. Obviously, a lot of assets from that first game are now in the second GTA 6, which is the one we saw releasing in early 2025. It's obviously theories and speculation and there's more info to add to it, but it's surprising the Rockstar added a whole new map with lots of 80s themed vehicles that began developing around early 2020 and was released the same year is a very good clue to what happened there. If this theory is true, then the second GTA 6 didn't have Dan Hauser as a part of the writing team since it began production around 2020 and also getting delayed because of the pandemic which also confirms the development cycle of 5 years for each new game 2013, 2018, 2023 that had a 2 year delay to come 2020 to 2025. If development cycle stays like this, we would likely have the next Rockstar new big game after GTA 6 in 2030. Anyways, since we're talking about the original Project Americas, here's a recent clip from a podcast that talked about Rockstar's reaction to the Project Americas leak. I'll leave a link to the podcast in the description. Um, and so I got a tip, and this was six or seven years ago, about GTA 6 um from someone and i'm not gonna say who still but like they had inside info as to what it was looking like at the time and it was like it's it was codenamed project americas and you're going to be doing drug missions from uh, the u.s to, to central south america and all this so i was like great got the person to confirm who they were typed up the script we put out the video and no one believed us at the time or it was kind of the audience was kind of like eh 
I don't know. You're, you're full, you know, not like you're full of shit or whatever. <laughs> Rockstar, Rockstar flipped out. Oh, like wow. they locked down the studio to find, <laughs> to find wow. the leaker. And a vice president of Rockstar called me and was like, Whoa. he's very nice, but he wanted to know, you know, who, you know, who my source was. And well, I was you like, can't do that. yeah, yeah, yeah I was like, I was like, look, man, I cannot like, I don't know how like games journals, but like, I'm from like newspaper, like, I'm never going to tell you my, he was like, that's fine. You know, just wanted to, you know, and, uh, <laughs> you know, got off, and, but, and it was like rooster teeth, you know, it, 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 it caused a deal. Like nobody ever said like. Hey, you shouldn't have done that, but it was like it definitely caused waves. But that's likely the version of GTA 6 that Dan Hauser worked on, as it does sound like a Dan Hauser story. Hopefully, the new Bonnie and Clyde theme story also delivers. But let me know what you think of all the details we discussed in today's video in the comment section down below. Are you worried about the writing of GTA 6? What we saw in the first trailer looked promising, so I wouldn't worry too much, but we'll have to wait and see. A special thanks to all the members of the channel: Rella Moore, Nick the Bala, Mike the Nerd, Eddie the Bullet, Armin the Wall. I am Vlad66, Sham God JD, Rajveer, and FNM Fago. Thank you guys so much for being loyal members of the channel. If you enjoyed the video, a thumbs up would be appreciated. Subscribe to the channel for more GTA 6 videos like this one. Join the Discord server if you haven't done so already. Link is in the description. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.